is always different on Google Earth. We're out looking for a new lake, and we're going to do some rainbow trout fishing on it. And it's a stock lake, and so it's kind of off the beaten path. We're hoping it'll be good fishing, but we'll have to see. It's really cold. Yeah. It's probably down around zero here, huh? Yeah. If not below. No, I think below. It was, what, six at home, so... Yeah. We did get just over this ridge here. We've done these trips with Jake before. Oh, it's only a mile up here, I promise. It's nice and easy. I don't have a lot of confidence. At least right. not in the easy part. I'm going to see if we can find it. Daddy's going to rescue Lou because his snow machine's not running good again. Whoa! Dad told me to go fast. <laughs> okay, shut it off right away. <laughs> you don't want to bog it down, okay? So we made it. This lake is incredibly gorgeous view has incredibly gorgeous views so we don't know where the fish are going to be and so if you're coming on a lake like this and you don't know where the fish are you're going to want to look for rainbow trout you want to be between five and maybe uh 10 feet of water to start out with so we're going to go kind of find some points or spots where the where if the fish are running around the shoreline of the lake where it'll concentrate them and we're going to try and end up in in about seven feet of water to start out with. Sometimes you'll find them deeper, sometimes they'll be even shallower than five feet, but uh, that's a good start. So when you're out traveling on the ice, um, some of these signs like this, you see how the snow's indented where someone had been before. This clearly had overflow, and so overflow can ruin your day out snow machining on the lake uh, because you'll get stuck out on the ice, even though the ice is safe. Sometimes we'll get water on it. But it looks like the overflow is uh, froze up. So we're just gonna kinda give it a little test here and see if there's a, a level underneath it. And just make sure that the ice is deep enough. Well, it's at least six, six or seven inches thick in a little lake like this. There may be springs or something. So you just kind of got to be careful with how you do it. How you go out on the lake and make sure you're checking the ice from time to time. Okay, so we got here, we, we, we thought this looked like a fairly decent spot right here. It's kind of drops off, starts to get shallower here. Um, but, um, I cut through and I got the water after about an inch and a half of ice. But what there is, is there's a layer of overflow, which is uh, water underneath the ice, but it's above the other ice. So there's two layers of ice with water in between them. Uh, that makes it really difficult to drill a hole. It makes it really diff difficult. If you punch through it on your snow machine, it's just a, a pain to deal with. But we think that this is a good spot, so we're gonna try it, and I think it'll be fine for us. It's thick enough to where we're not gonna fall. Did you hear the cracks? nice and clear. I love fishing in lakes with clear water, but it is pretty shallow here. I can see the bottom. Yep. So you'll see when I put the lure down. Stop it. 
this at the bottom. I think it's right there. Well, you have to be because your line's out, so. So, we're at about four feet here. Three to four feet. So this is probably the inside of our spread to where we're gonna be doing a little bit of searching for these trout. And uh, we'll move out a little bit from here and we'll see how we do. Here you go, Cody. Oh, this is a nice one. Yeah, I got, I got a rainbow on, I think. Look out, Luke. So, yeah, I see it. Finally caught a fish. Luke, it's not a bust. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's that's not a rainbow. What is it? It's a dolly. Not a, they don't stock lake trout in here, do they? That's a, no, they, they stock rainbows. Well, a dolly would have come in through creek, huh? Well, there is no creek. You want to still eat it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good. How good are they? Well, you guys, if there's one, they might be Boy, circling. That's a pretty one. Fat little dolly. Got a fat little dolly there. That's pretty. So far we've got one little dolly. Um, the wind's picked up. It's a beautiful day out. And uh, they stock quite a few rainbows in here. So that was kind of a surprise to catch a, a dolly. Dolly Varden. And uh, we know there's rainbows in here, but uh, we haven't got one yet. So. so anyways, since the wind's picked up, it makes it kind of tough to go out and explore different areas. So we just kind of huddled around the fire. We, we figured that would be our best opportunity to just stick out in one spot. And sure enough, I, I got that this little dolly. So we'll fry them up tonight. But... When you're jigging, uh, we have uh, a couple pulls down with just pieces of shrimp. Shrimp is our go-to bait. And then we have little, uh, like a Mr. Twister uh, grub and uh, or skirt jig. And then I have a little cast master on. And these right off the bottom, tipped with the little shrimp, are our go-to baits. And they tend to work really well. So Heather has one. Go ahead, bring it up in here. Yep. Yeah, that's a rainbow. Right there. Wow, chunky little guy. Yeah. He's really fat. Look at that. Not good. That boy, that fresh bait. Look at that. I said down the hatch, right on the bottom. There we go. Hey, Cody, keep jigging. So we just got the bike coming in. These are pretty small. But I figure there's some big rainbows in here because they've been stocking for a couple years. <laughs> well, we're taking off. It's a really cold day today. I would have liked to move around the lake. A lot of times, if I'm only getting a slow bite or no bite, I'll move uh, pretty frequently just to find where the fish are. But it wasn't a total loss. We didn't get skunked. I got a rain, uh, little dolly and Heather got a little rainbow and we know they stock a lot of rainbows in here so the rainbow and the dolly were pretty healthy so we'll come back in here and uh, try it again sometime but we'll probably try a different spot it was just too cold to move today so there's a little bit of wind it's probably five degrees above zero and uh, and blowing maybe 10, 10 miles an hour and so that just it just sucks the heat out of you. We don't have an ice shack or anything like that with us. So we're gonna take off out of here and go have some uh, trout for supper. Five. Well, I knew it was cold out there, but we got two degrees, so. And with that little bit of breeze, that's a pretty cold day out there without an ice shack or anything, but. We had a good time, uh, caught a couple of fish. It was a little slow and uh, Hopefully next time we go out there, it'll be a lot better. It's two degrees and two fish.